Hi, welcome to today's video about neutron stars and the Magnificent Seven and their resistance against uh, gravity. This is a nice uh, comparison of a neutron star versus Manhattan, size of Manhattan. The neutron stars have a size of 15 to 30 kilometers. They are the crushed core of a massive exploded star. They are between the Chandra Sekhar limit of 1.4 solar masses and the Tormann Oppenheimer Volkov limit, 2.2 solar masses. 97% of the stars um, become white dwarfs, which are below the Chandrasekhar limit. And above the Tolman oppenheimer limit, uh, objects, these objects are the stellar mass black holes. This is a picture of how um, that shows you the formation of a neutron star. You, uh, for this you need a massive star of 10 to 25 solar masses. Uh, these type of, type of stars have a, a very short um, main sequence lifetime of about a few a million years. They quickly run out of uh, hydrogen. Uh, there is, uh, without uh, radiation pressure, there is no resistance against gravity. The inner core, uh, core implodes under the gravity, so the neutron star is formed inside the star. Um, neutrinos uh, show, neutrino emissions show the formation of the neutron star. The protons and electrons are smashed together form the neutrons. Uh, this process uh, releases the uh, neutrinos. Uh, the outer layers become unstable too and uh, implode, collapse into the inner core, onto the inner core at 25% uh, of the speed of light and uh, bounce off the dense core here. And this creates a supernova. A supernova is, event is very important for life because it uh, distributes the heavier elements into space. The average density of a neutron star is 4 to 6 uh, times 10 to, the min 10 to the 17 kilograms per cubic meter. Initial temperature is 10 to the 11 to 10 to the 12 Kelvin. However, after a few million years, it cools quickly down to 1 million Kelvin. And there are about uh, 3,200 known neutron stars. And this is the structure of a neutron star. Um, you can see the uh, outer crust is uh, made of ions and electrons. Uh, this is a uh, rho zero. That's the nuclear matter saturation density. Um, the inner crust uh, con consists of uh, electrons, uh, neutrons, nuclei, and there's an outer core of neutron, proton, Fermi liquid. Uh, the inner core could be a quark, gluon, plasma, or it could be made of uh, neutronium, that's neutron matter, just the atomic number zero because it contains no protons. And the neutron star is um, stabilized by neutron degeneracy pressure. This prevents further collapse of this object. This is an object RxJ18561537548. That's the closest known neutron star at 400 light years distance. This is one of, a member of the Magnificent Seven group. This is a group of uh, young neutron stars at 400 to 1600 light years. And this group is named after the famous uh, Western movie, The Magnificent Seven. And you can see um, light is polarized. A uh, quantum mechanic phenomenon that's vacuum by refringence. Um, that's how the light is uh, polarized. This is Calvera. Calvera is the villain in the movie The Magnificent Seven, and it's also the name of this neutron star at 6000 light years distance. It is an X ray emitter. Its rotation period is just 59 milliseconds, and its age is 285,000 years. This is another neutron star, MXB. 1730 3C5, also called the rapid burster. It's a binary of a neutron star and a low mass star. The low mass star cannot be seen in this picture. Uh, this object has very strong magnetic fields. Um, it gets a lot of momentum from the uh, gas that flows into the neutron star. And there are sudden type two bursts with intense X-ray emissions. And this is another object, uh, CPD292176. That's a binary of massive blue stars. That's a kilonova progenitor. Uh, this picture shows you the future evolution of the system. Um, there's a matter flow from the bigger star to the um, smaller star. The bigger star runs uh, out first of hydrogen, and then you get a supernova. Uh, after some time, the second star also uh, uh, explodes in a supernova. And you get a pair of uh, neutron stars. And they slowly induce momentum, approach each other. 
And the final step is the collision of the two neutron stars, which is called a kilonova. This is how the neutron star merger with a kilonova explosion happens. Um, during this event, uh, there are gravitational waves and uh, there's a short gamma ray burst. The both objects uh, experience strong tidal forces. And this is another very important uh, phenomenon, the kilonova, um, which also distributes uh, heavier elements into space. For example, the element strontium, uh, gold, and platinum. This is the artist's impression of how a black hole uh, devours a neutron star. The neutron star orbits the black hole. Uh, once it comes to close, it uh, ripped apart. Matter flows into the accretion disk of the neutron uh, of the black hole. Uh, due to friction, the disk starts to, gl to glow. Uh, not all the material flows into the black hole. A mode fit is ejected uh, by these uh, two jets. Particles in the jets can have uh, reach uh, speeds that are near the speed of light. This is another animation that shows you uh, formation of a micro millisecond uh, pulsar in a binary system. This is the pulsar. A pulsar is a highly magnetized neutron star. It gets the momentum from the accreted matter that flows into the pulsar. Its rotation is 1000 rotations per second. And you can see the two radiation cones. Uh, this makes uh, the lighthouse effect. This is an example of a pulsar, that's the Vela pulsar, it's a movie from the NASA's uh, Chandra X-ray Observatory. The Vela pulsar is located at 960 light years from Earth, size is 19 kilometers, uh, it rotates 11 times per second. This Vela pulsar experiences glitches, glitches. Uh, these are sudden spin-ups in the rotation, they happen in average every three years, the cause is unknown. Um, other pulsars, uh, due to accretion, um, and have anti-glitches, and the reason for the anti-glitches is also unknown. This is a very famous pulsar, that's the PSR B1257 plus 12, also called Lich. It's a millisecond uh, pulsar at 2300 light years, it is, has um, 161 rotations per second, and the system contains three planets. This uh, artist's concept of the um, pulsar planets, um, the innermost planet is called uh, Draugr, has uh, double the si uh, mass of the Moon. Other two uh, planets, Poltergeist and Phobitor, have each four Earth masses. Uh, the formation of these uh, pulsar planets is unclear. There could be uh, second generation planets. So there could, this could be formed from a disk uh, from the formation of the pulsar. Um, the composition, there are theories about the composition of these planets. There could be water rich or carbon rich diamond planets. This is a picture of how the planet Poltergeist could look like, the pulsar planet. It's at a distance of 0 0.4 AU from the pulsar. 1 AU is our sun distance, or its orbital period is 67 days. Uh, however, the pulsar beam uh, destroys all mo organic molecules. That's very questionable. Um, so life on the surface is questionable. But it may be underwater, um, and that's where it uh, could be protected from this uh, pulsar beam. This is another animation of the, a magnetar in a young star cluster Vesterlund 1 in a 12,000 light years distance. There are 31 magnetars known. They are formed from a ma very massive star. Um, for this, you need a star that's uh, more massive than 40 solar masses. Um, atoms in this magnetar, due to the strong magnetic fields, are deformed into long cylinders. And this is how the surface of a magnetar could look like. It's about 20 kilometers um, size. Um, there could be 30 million magnetars in the Milky Way galaxy. They have very strong uh, magnetic fields of 10 to the 9, up to 10 to the 11 Tesla. 
Uh, the rotation period is 2 to 10 seconds, so this uh, means they are slower than other neutron stars. And uh, they experience uh, star quakes, and the star quakes uh, cause extreme uh, gamma ray flare emissions. This is how uh, a merger of two neutron stars happens. Uh, that's the formation of a uh, stellar mass black hole. In this process, gravitational waves are created, and uh, again, the the stellar mass black hole uh, has uh, jet particles that uh, have uh, near the speed of light. And this is a nice uh, poster of the movie The Magnificent Seven, the Western movie from 1960. This is the stars Yul Brynner, Steve McQueen. Eli Wallach plays the villain Calvera. And this movie is the remake of the Japanese film Seven Samurai from 1954. Uh, that was today's video about neutron stars. Um, you can check out the links to the current uh, newest scientific articles. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.